Still dark out, guys. Kind of. The snow is so quiet out here. I can't believe how quiet it is. But it's still dark, so yeah. No more snow last night, so just the. They're, they're saying it's less than two feet, but man, when I look out here and look at the driveway that my father in law shoveled, it looks more like two feet to me. But they're saying we got under two feet, so I don't know. I don't, I don't agree. Maybe it, maybe in the city, because I know there was less in the city. But not here. See you in for coffee. Good morning, guys. I have my coffee, and I wanted to share a little story with you. I got this prescribed from the doctor. I love this stuff. If you have any knee pains or anything, it's like instantly helps you feel better. Okay? I haven't had to use this for weeks now. And because my knees just don't hurt anymore now that I've lost, you know, almost 50 pounds. And it's amazing how well this stuff works. But any arthritis kind of pain, if you have any arthritis kind of pain anywhere, your hands, your knees, your feet. We went on a cruise to Mexico and my knees were hurting really bad because we were walking all over the ship. It was a huge ship. We were walking all over the place. And I was telling my mother-in-law how my knee was hurting and she had, she had some of this and she borrowed me some and it was like magic. It's like I put it on and it was no more pain instantly. I don't know if it was in my head or whatever, but this stuff works. No kidding. But so then when I started getting more knee pain as I gained weight, I asked the doctor about that and she gave me some refills on it and it's just, it blows my mind. Yeah, wonderful stuff. I'll bring you back for breakfast. Okay, I am prepared to make my soft boiled eggs. I just got these eggs so I know they're nice and fresh and I've got everything cleaned and on here, you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's where it says soft boiled, you would fill the water to the one here. This is medium boiled, so you'd fill the water up there. This is hard, so you'd fill it way up to here. I am going to go just under this medium because I'm not sure how soft their soft is, and I don't like the whites runny at all. So I'm going to try with this one, I'll probably do it to a two here and we will adjust from there. So I'm going to get this set up. You fill this up with water right to there, to the, where my thumb is. You pour it in there. This is on and off simply. If you have it over to the left, they say that will keep them warm after the buzzer goes off. You keep it over to the right and it just shuts off. So we're going to do over to the right after I get the water in it. Let me get the water in here and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have it right to the two on the medium part of it. And we're going to pour the water in here. We're going to put this cover, oh, no I'm not. It says you're supposed to prick the egg with this little needle on the back, you can see on the underside there. So there's a needle under there. Just take my word for it because it's not going to focus. There's a tiny little needle right inside there. And it says you're supposed to prick the top of the eggs so they don't explode. Thank God it didn't break. And there we have it. See those little holes on the top of there? My camera sucks at focusing. I'm sorry about that. So there's the tiny little hole right there. And it's, of course it's not going to focus, but trust me, it's there. And it says to put the hole up facing the top and put the cover on it. Turn this on to the right and you can see the little light came on. And I'll bring you back when this is done. I'll let you know how long it takes. It's been three minutes, guys, and it is totally 
fogged up in there. So it's definitely boiling. Okay guys, nine minutes and the buzzer started going off, so I'm gonna take these out and cool them off. Okay, moment of truth. And there's no whites leaking out the top of that little hole either, either which I like. I was worried that it was gonna make this all messy, but it's, as you can see, it's nice and clean and no egg leakage. So as long as you poke it in the, I'd poke it on the larger end of the egg where the air sac is, you shouldn't have any leakage. So that's cool. And let me, I'm gonna set you up on the tripod. Okay guys, here we go. Let's see how well this thing works. I usually do this under running water too, but they're already feeling like they're peeling a lot better. Just gotta get that skin ripped a little bit. And the shells actually feel thinner. It's really weird. But yeah, look at that, guys. This is definitely better. Oh my goodness. Jack that up. Just a little bit of rip right there. Probably because they are soft. I can tell they're soft boiled. They might be even a little too soft. We'll cut them open and see. I gotta rinse it off. Just put that over. We'll put that there. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh yeah, these are a little bit too soft. So I'll probably do medium because you see that yolk comes squirting right out of there. Although that's not too bad because I don't see any white that's real leaky. So I can handle the yolk being like that. I don't like the white being runny because it just makes me feel ill, I guess. So awesome. I'm gonna try this next one and let you know if that peeled the same way. But yeah, looks good. And I'm gonna try the poached egg tomorrow morning and I'll let you know how that goes. Two eggs, perfection. That one didn't even, there wasn't even a little mark on that one, so. Perfect, love the egg steamer. Thank you guys for the tip. I will definitely not be going back. So, this is awesome. Hey guys, that is breakfast and I've got my full bottle of water here. These are definitely too soft. So I'm going to up it to the one on the medium because that was on two. Yeah, that was on the two on the medium. So I'm going to up it to the one and see how that gets it. And if that's still too soft, I'll do the really low on the hard. So this is it. And that is four smart points here, zero for the water. And I'm going to have some strawberries as well. And those are zero. Okay guys, I am having the, um, I can turn it around here, light and fit, and it's the strawberry cheesecake, and that is my snack for today until my lunch gets done. Okay guys, this is going to be lunch. I know it's kind of a big lunch, but I'm hungry and I feel like fish, and I'm going to try the potato crusted fish for that's one for me one for nick and then roasted broccoli and onions and my favorite spices on anything roasted is always cumin and paprika the best spices for roasting any kind of vegetable in my opinion anyway but it's really good so that's what we're having for lunch and i'll bring you back and show you the finished product here is lunch guys i got a six point piece of chicken i got a lot of broccoli and onions that are roasted and that is lunch and I got some ranch sauce over the top about a tablespoon and a half this is what I had for a snack guys is the lean cuisine macaroni and cheese with the organic pasta hey guys this is supper tonight fish and roasted vegetables I loved it so much last time I made it for supper that is a snack tonight um, two tablespoons of peanut butter and one square of the Theo dark chocolate. And that will be it for the night. I just don't like the white being yummy or 